At more than 5% growth per annum, Uganda is experiencing one of the highest rates of urbanization in Africa. This is attributed to high population growth and rural urban migration in search for employment and greener pastures. This trend has led to the development of informal settlements or slums where majority of the urban poor reside. Notwithstanding their contribution, urban authorities have to a large extent not created enough planned facilities and service delivery to respond to the needs of the slum dwellers. Kasozi Faluk, a resident of Chigungu Learning Site on the shores of Lake Victoria in Tebe Municipality, is one of the thousands of people who migrated to an urban center with a dream to live a better life. Like any other hard-working fisherman, by dawn, Faluk is already selling his catch. His typical day's schedule involves manning his nets, getting ready to cast them into the waters later in the night, hopeful for a catch. Even as he's making a penny to survive, living at Chigungu learning site comes with lots of challenges. Faluk says the learning site has only one pit latrine serving many people. As a result, some people defecate in the open, thereby contaminating the lake, their main water source. In Katabi Busambaga, not far from Chigungo, the situation is not so different. Many people here have limited access to piped water. They still collect water from open spring wells. Chitoro, also in the vicinity, a similar situation reigns. Slum dwellers in this part of Entebbe municipality have to live with the daily challenge of poor garbage management, poor roads and dilapidated market structures. Security for their merchandise is in the lax, especially in the night. Nakiriza Alice, a mother of eight, owns a chicken stall in Chitoro Market. Her major concern here is that the entire population of the market shares water from two water tap stands. The toilet facilities leave a lot to be desired. The drainage system is poor, causing floods, especially during the rainy seasons. People like Faluk and Alice are just a portion of a handful of slum dwellers in Uganda who tirelessly toil each day, hoping to transform their lives. Their hard work alone is not enough to enable them to live the decent life they desire. They need partnership with government for effective management of proper urban growth and development. However, engaging the central and local government authorities on slum upgrading can be very challenging without appropriate information on slum settlements. To generate the much-needed planning information on slum settlements, the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda and Act Together Uganda, a local NGO partner, with support from UN Habitat's Global Land Tools Network, has conducted citywide slum profiling in Entebbe, Mbale, Masaka and Tororo municipalities. We don't have the information about how many taps, um, how many public toilets, how many um, uh, healthy centers among others. So profiling is really the collecting this information, they uh, together, analyze it, and then we use it with our authorities, say the municipality here in Entebbe, to see how we can improve onto the, uh, the standards of living into our... The profiling centers. program involves mobilization and capacity building of slum dwellers in data collection and utilization, a significant part of the solution to long-term incremental upgrading of slum areas. The process also involves building partnerships with municipal councils and the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Working with municipal councils, slum dwellers and other development partners in the profiling exercise generates confidence and trust in utilization of information gathered. But the utilization of information gathered is only possible if it is concrete and credible and if the people themselves are involved in this collection. Although the National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda has for a long time used mapping and household enumeration information to negotiate with local governments to respond to the needs of the urban poor, in 2013, the Federation embarked on a pilot in Bale municipality to standardize settlement profiles and data management using the social tenure domain model tools. And we piloted with just, just two settlements, that is Gofumbo Cell and the Namatala, where uh, people were sensitized on how to use this. And uh, the whole community definitely won, they were excited, and we started using it. That if it's a picture, if it's an image, 
To bridge the knowledge gap, slum dwellers were trained on how to use STDM software and lessons learned in Bali were used to inform the same process in Masaka, Toro and Entebbe. We came for hands-on training so that we learn from them what they are doing so that we can be able to do it in Toro. The National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda, in addition to mapping and enumeration, has recently added geographical information system techniques to further improve the accuracy of maps and make them compatible with local authority planning systems. Yeah, well, it's not actually a phone. It's called uh, a GPS, which is Global Positioning System. So with mapping, it means we get to this machine and then map our entire slum area and the map even the services that are there. So when it comes to mobilizing, when it comes to uh, going to the authorities to request for most of these services that are not within our area, then we can easily show the evidence that surely within the whole of this area, big to this level, with this population, it has only these services. With STDM is specifically helping us to get details of certain information from at household level. Before coming up with the need for a certain community, we have, must appreciate that the data in place is really evident enough that this community is lacking such a service. For then there's, at the bottom there is GPS. To bridge the knowledge gap, slum dwellers were trained on how to use STDM software and lessons learned in Bali were used to inform the same process in Masaka, Toro and Entebbe. Training of slum dwellers in modern information management systems has proven that the use of social tenure domain model tools is not limited to academically trained professionals. This has created more opportunities for slum dwellers to take control of mapping their settlements, which in the past would have been hampered by more traditional mapping methodologies. Community to Iganga with Kola, and that was over Okuiga, Oku updating data, Okuinga, managing, and then in Sobolo Kuberanga to Iga, Okola Chi, Okola report. A soft way, no, Jetua Londa, Tua Lavanga, a young no. Kubanga UN habitant yajane new technology kubamu STDM a software enyangu nyo omuntu owa wansi jasobolo kozisa elanga jitege mangu. The fruits of settlement profiling in Bali, Masaka, Tororo and Entebbe municipal councils using social tenure domain tools are enormous. The successes STDM has given us, like I said, through the profiling reports we were able to identify areas that are lacking water services and we've been able to provide spring water wells and some roads have been opened in different areas we have been able to also capture information at household level the process has been instrumental in amplifying the silent voices of the slum dwellers before their municipal councils we have been using that data in form of dialoguing between the communities and then the local authorities like the division and the municipal council. Information generated by social tenure domain model tools has helped Mbale Municipal Authority to partner with the Slum Dwellers Federation to provide five public water stand pipes in the post settlement of the municipality. <laughs> in the mission of Fumbona Vigil, we have got five water points. We have got the, in the mission of uh, Fumbo Bukonde Road, we have got security lighting, which is uh, almost going to kick start. We have stone pitching within a mission cell to improve on the sanitation. We use that information to dialogue between SDI. SDI provided us with a loan of 47 million and we constructed a public toilet to improve on our people in terms of sanitation and good living standards. So uh, here is the, the sanitation facility which has been done. Uh, down it is completed, on top very soon it is going to be completed. Here we talk about the drainage which I was talking about has been partially constructed but very soon it is going, uh, uh, going to be finished. Of a report was also used to lobby for land for construction of a secondary school for the urban poor in Busamaga community. Good partnership is awarded to the land 
kanso okutusa lila keta kalino ne tuveranga tusobola okuteka ko secondary school our school sama community secondary school is the only secondary school in this there has been that gap of planning, but now we have gone to narrow it by using the, the information which has been unveiled to us in form of profiling and enumeration. And we have registered a lot of achievements that now when we talk about mission settlement, it has improved in terms of health, sanitation. We have reduced on cholera. We are having clean water which has been extended and no longer drinking. Nabuyonga River which has been contaminated. In Masaka, Chororo and in Tebe, information from settlement profiling has been used to establish resource centers in support of proper planning based on community priorities, as indicated in the data gathered. Drawing on lessons from Bali, the urban pro have further used their profile information to establish municipal development fora, where they engage municipal authorities to respond to their needs, thus participatory planning. <laughs> Indeed, information is power. To make the most of that power, communities need to be organized and trained to gather such information. They also need to analyze it in a way that is practical to the communities and strategic to their interactions with government. Tools such as STDM highlight the opportunities for simple technological advancements to this support. Basing on lessons learned from the four towns, Act Together and National Slum Dwellers Federation of Uganda seek additional partners to continue the mobilization of communities in municipalities throughout Uganda.